Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, 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 channel,
Okay, now let's go into shadow. I'm gonna prime my eyes now with the e.l.f. putty primer. So back to Paulette. I just love, I can connect with her so much. Because for the longest time, you know, I had uh, self-esteem issues. I didn't really like how I looked. And you know, I use humor and comedy to like make situations less awkward or if I would feel sad, I would use humor to lighten other people's days. That's just like what made me comfortable. And I am the one that if someone like feeling sad, I try to cheer them up by making them laugh, by making them smile, you know? Whether it's a hug, which I can't do right now because of this pandemic, but uh... <laughs> yeah, she's very much a people person like me, which is also something I relate with her on. She also loves dogs, which is very true. I love dogs as well. I have two dogs, actually. Two dogs and four cats. Let me know if you want to see my doggos and my kitty cats. And I would love to show you. Um, moving on, we're gonna go... So her eyeshadow is not the best. And by that, it's not gonna be no brown smoky eye with a glitter cut crease and, like, a cat eyeliner. No, it's going to be bright colors that kind of don't mix very well. Uh, I can't wait to have this on my face. Yay! So, I'm gonna go in with the Alexis Stone Instinct palette. Look at all these bright colors. Use a scream palette. I'm gonna go in with this nice dark purple shade. And I'm gonna do that on my outer lid and then a little bit into the crease. So, back to Paulette. Paulette was one of my my first like dream roles that I really wanted. I saw my friend performing it at a theater company and I was just blown away by I mean one, her talent, the show, just the way everything was, the characters. I mean Legally Blonde is such a great show. It's like one of my favorite musicals. It's so wacky. It doesn't go too dark. I'm not a huge fan of a dark musical. Don't get me wrong. I love me some dark musicals like Sweeney Todd. <sighs> Obsessed. But I do um, pick more of the lighter toned musicals. Um, by tone I mean emotion and just character wise. So I really do love Lily Blonde, the characters, the music. I mean there's a song called Gay or European. I love that so much. And getting Paulette was just like one of the best experience I could ever have. Shout out to you, Brava Players. One of my old theater companies who are still doing live shows right now safely. It's absolutely amazing. Their next show is Be More Chill. And T-Way. Paulette is just a wacky character. I really go towards more the wacky characters. I love a dramatic character, don't get me wrong. It really brings me out of my comfort zone. Like, for some people, comedy is like the hardest thing in the world for them. But for me, it just totally lightens my whole world. It makes me so happy to be so wacky, so kooky. Because if I'm being totally honest, I don't give what people think of me. At all. Like, you could tell me... For the longest time, I was like Paulette. I let people's opinions and words get under my skin and just tell me who I was but then I slowly learned with the help of friends and family that it doesn't really freaking matter what people say as long as you love you it's like the most important thing so I loved being Paulette and going through that journey and just playing a role that I so much like relate to I definitely like had boys tell me like you're fat, you're ugly, you're never gonna find love. Look where I am now, look where they are now. I mean, I don't know where they are now, but I'm pretty sure. Oh, before I forget, I'm really pecking on this purple. Paulette goes heavy on pigment. And I do mean heavy. I personally would have done like one layer. I've done like four now, cause Paulette would go Rag queen heavy. I'm gonna go in with the with the lighter purple right here. Yeah, I'm just gonna go over the crease with that. 
Okay, so that purple is looking good. I like it. Oh, Jesus. I'm going with this blue right here. It's like a light turquoise aqua. Oh, hey, wait, that's a cute shot. Hey, guys. <laughs> yes, I'm putting that in the on my lid. I'm gonna go back in with that purple brush and just blend in the blue and the pink just a little bit. Then I'm gonna be going in with the Zodiac B BH Cosmetics. I finally got this palette and I love it. Look at that. It's so pretty. I'm gonna be going in with the shade Gemini right here. Beautiful silver shade. As you know, in the 2000s, there was like that silver frosted look, like people had silver frosted all over their eyes, picture here. And so I believe Paulette was trying to follow that trend, so I'm going to put this on my tear duct, a little bit on my lid. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. That looks ugly. I'm just kidding. It doesn't look ugly, but it's definitely like... My Valentine's Day makeup tutorial. And then I'm gonna go in with a white jumbo pencil. I feel like Paulette would want her eyes to look a little whiter and not um, like sunken and deep dark if you use a black liner. So, a white liner is perfect, by the way, if you want to look a little more awake. I mean, look, my eyes look a little more white. White. Look a little more wide awake. And then for eyeliner, I'm just gonna do a simple eyeliner. No wing because I feel like Paulette did not have the confidence to do that. And I relate with her on that. And then I'm gonna go in with some mascara. My Rocket Volume Express by Maybelline. Idiot Maybelline. So tell me, what have you guys been thinking about these um, musical theater videos? I know this is the second one, but did you like the first one? Did you like this one? Let me know. Musical theater is one of my favorite things to do. It's what keeps my soul, my sanity. Another thing I related with Paulette on is her love life. Now, just to give you a little history, she met someone in a bar who, like, told her that he would take care of her and love her and just treat her like the way she wanted to be treated. In reality, he was not every everything and all that. He was terrible to her, treated her like garbage, even in the later took her dog. Which is like the, her heart, like her dog Rufus. Oh, is you? If someone took my dog, I'd be ready for the slaughter. I will. <laughs> things will happen to you. Now for lashes. So of course I'm gonna be going in with my Amita lashes. D43 and I will be applying these off camera. Be right back. Uh, lashes are on. Now I'm going to go in with a Sache Lady Lasting Matte Matte Lip Ink in shade. Oh wow. Oh. On camera, it's a little brighter than what it actually is, a little darker. I think I want to go in with a little gloss. I definitely feel like she's a gloss person. Yeah, I'm going to go in with a little gloss. Like a dark purple galaxy. You know what? Let's just try it. This is a. Uh... Maybelline gloss was on clearance, so I bought it. I'll just try it. If I don't like it, we can always just wipe it off. Ooh. Okay.
Yeah. Okay. I like that. Yeah. Let's see. Anything else? We got the bright colors, lips, hair. I used to have my hair used to be longer, but I like it because it's my Marilyn Monroe hair. I would do the half up, half down, and just like that, like she did in the movie. Jennifer Coolidge. You know, this this is this is it. This is her final form. <laughs> I've decided. This is it. We're gonna set it. <laughs> Don't get in your mouth. What? It's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, while I get, while I am, um, I try to breathe. See you guys at the show. Ow. Do you know the number one reason behind all bad hair decisions? Love. You're lost without your love. Your heart is on the floor. Well, I can help you. I've been there before. When I need to relax, I just put on some tracks. From this CD I bought for the store. Isn't that relaxing? It's called Celtic Moods! When I'm lonely or feeling dejected, I play this and it never fails. I pretend like I'm in Ireland with Enya and the whales. When my telephone gets disconnected or I spent every night alone I pretend like I'm in Ireland where the Irish bagpipes drone smell the grass as a rainstorm is ending people smile while I stroll past their farms with a red-headed sailor named Brendan and we dance without moving our arms in a bar once I met this guy, Dewey, and he bought me like 14 beers, and he told me that he was from Ireland, so I lived with him for 10 years. If I squinted, he looked like my sailor through my boozy delusional fog. But he dumped me for some slut named Kayla, took my trailer and took my dog. In Ireland, they know I love you. You embrace in the misty Irish breeze. And if your Irish boy tires of you, you're allowed to shoot him in the knees. Say you look like that poster for Ireland. Long blonde hair and that sweet sunny face. Oh no wait, that's the poster for Sweden. Oh screw it, I'll never see either place. But a girl sweet as you has a future. You have hope. As each new day dawns, girls like you always get to see Ireland. Give my love to the leprechauns. Ah. Oh. oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please, no, please, just. Thank you, thank you so much. Oh, that feels so good. Oh, I mean, every time I sing, I just and perform, I feel so happy. If you guys don't like this, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna keep doing them because they make me happy. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. Please subscribe, hit the bell, give this video a like, or the leprechauns will come after you. 
leave a comment down below. I've gotten some suggestions on what musical th theater characters or singing characters that you want me to do next. I love those ideas. Keep them coming. I love me some inspiration. Let me know what you guys want to see next. And I'll see you guys in the next